What's up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show, and let's just jump into it. So, like before, I got Mufasa on the bottom. I shuffled it, so I don't know what order that's in. I got the dice over here. Uh, now, yesterday we started with, uh, on a one, we will fade ourselves. Uh, and today we're going to still do that before we get Mufasa out of the fate deck. Um, but once we get him out, we will increase that to uh, one and two. And then once we have added Mufasa, vanquished him, and put him in the succession pile, then we will fate every turn. So it's going to be a little bit easier than yesterday. I think yesterday was uh, just way too difficult. So today let's see if uh, this is going to be more uh, reasonable. Uh, still have 20 turns to win. And uh, let's just get started. Okay. So already I like this hand, especially because of this card. So we will start by going to the Elephant Graveyard. We will collect three power. And we will spend uh, one power to start uh, getting at Mufasa. Uh, again, this is a reveal the top four cards of your fate deck. You may play one hero, discard the rest. So let's see, one, two, Rafiki, three, four. Ooh, and the stick. Rafiki was trouble yesterday, so let's get that out of the way and uh, let's play let's play the stampede just so we can get some uh, some strength going and uh, we will discard the other two let's see if we get faded uh, five so we do not get faded this goes down to 19 Draw back up to four. All right, not bad, not bad. So what we will do is we will move to uh, Pride Rock, collect two power, and uh, we will pay one power to play Be Prepared which uh, says discard the top three cards of your fate uh, of your of your deck you may choose one effect or up to two allies from your discard pile and put them into your hand so let's do that so we are going to discard the top uh, three of our deck one two and three and we will just get uh, one effect which is going to be this one again long live the king because Scar's first objective is to get Mufasa out, so that is what we are going to move towards. And uh, we will, uh, we're able to play two cards here, so we will spend our other power to play Long Live the King. Simba, Sarabi, Nala, and Timon. All discarded. And, uh... We can move, but we're not going to move him. We will uh, just fate ourselves now. And I know I should be drawing cards at the end of my turn, uh, but like I said yesterday, I just do it at the beginning of my turn because it's just easier to keep track of all the dice and it just makes the game a little bit more difficult. I don't really use the uh, condition cards in uh, single player. Do not get faded. This moves down to 18. Uh, just have to draw one card to get back up to four. Okay, what do we have? Condition card doesn't really matter. So what we will do is move back to the Elephant Graveyard, get three power, and we are gonna pay one power to play Be Prepared. And it's gonna do pretty much the same uh, thing we did last time. So, one, 
two, three, and we will get back Long Live the King. Put that back in our hand. Just organize this a little bit. And we will play Long Live the King and discard the next four cards because we know Mufasa's at the bottom. We put him there. Discard. So we played two cards. Uh, I'll discard the condition cards. Actually, I'm going to discard all of them. Uh, and uh, let's fade ourselves. Or see if we get faded. Ooh, we get faded. Okay, so let's see what would be worse for Scar at this moment. Uh, so it's going to be Zazu. And uh, let's see, worst place for Z for Scar would be probably to put Zazu here. Okay, so now we move down to round 17. Uh, draw back up to four. All right, uh, put these back. All right, what I will do now is uh, move back here. Oops, get two power. Uh, and I will spend one power to play Long Live the King. Get Mufasa out. We can uh, shuffle these. And uh, we get to draw three more cards and uh, put them in the discard and hopefully get some get rid of uh, some of those Akuna Matatas so that they can't bring anyone back from the from the succession pile all right get rid of one ooh and get rid of that that stick which is really bad for scar if you want to pause and read that all right so we can play another card and I will I will play uh, Two to put this uh, hyena there. Let's get that started. And um, now we will fate ourselves if we get a one or a two on the dice. So let's see what happens. Nope, no fate this turn. Move down around 16. Draw back up to four. Okay, oops, I think I drew one too many cards. Uh, let's put that there. Okay, so let's move here, get three power. And uh, let's, yeah, let's play, uh, spend two power, oops, to put another hyena. And can only play one card now because Zazu's blocking the other action. Let's fate. So no fate this turn. Move down to round 15. Uh, draw back up to four. So we just draw the one. Okay. Not the best hand at all. So let's move here. Uh, let's get one power. Uh, we can play a card, but there's really no need to play right now. So I'm just going to discard all four. And like I said uh, yesterday, I don't really use the uh, fate actions because there's no one to fate. Uh, okay, so that's the end of that turn. Let's see what happens. No fate. Move down around uh, 14. Draw back up to four. Okay. Ah, a little bit better. A little bit better here. Okay. So what we will do is... Okay. So let's move 
let's move here. Get three power. Uh, we will spend two power to play uh, Shenzi the Hyena. Uh, when Shenzi, Shenzi is played, you may play a Hyena from your hand for free. So we're going to do that. So we pay two to play her, and we get to play this one for free. So now, not, I guess the camera's not catching all of it, but uh, we have four Hyenas here three of which get plus one strength for each other hyena. Uh, so I think we'll have enough. So we have one, two, three, four. So each of these is uh, going to be four. Um, and right now Mufasa has six power plus one for Zazu. So it, it'll take seven or more to kill Mufasa. Uh, so we only need to use two of our hyenas there. So what we will do is uh, hopefully kill Mufasa next turn. Uh, I was going to use stick with me, uh, but I can only play one, or I can only do one action, which was playing Shenzi, so I'm going to have to hold off on that. Uh, let's hope fate doesn't save Mufasa like fate saved him yesterday when I was about to kill him. Uh, okay, so let's uh, fate, let's see what happens. All right. No, fate this turn. Uh, round 13, draw back up to 4, just have to draw 2 cards. Okay, so let's see, what do we want to do? I think uh, I want to get more power, so I will move back to Pride Rock, get 2 power, and uh, I will use... Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend two power to play Banzai, the hyena, here, which increases those three hyenas again even more. And as the second action, I'm going to play Stick With Me. Uh, choose a hyena uh, who is not at Scar's location. You may perform one action at that hyena's location. You cannot use Stick With Me to perform fate actions. So I'm going to choose a hyena who's not at Scar's location, any of these, and I can perform one action at that location. I'm going to do the Vanquish action. Uh, so I can use, let's see, so the, these will each have one, two, three, four, five. So these are each five now. Um, so if I do, so you know what, I'll just use these two to, uh, so this will be five, six, seven, and Mufasa is at six, seven strength. So I'm just going to use these two to uh, kill Mufasa, start the succession pile, and now we'll fade each other every turn like we did yesterday. Hopefully we don't regret that. And uh, Banzai's uh, ability lets us gain one power for each other hyena discarded from Banzai's location. This is another hyena that was discarded, so we will get one power for that. Uh, and now we can move a card if we want, um, uh, but you know what, I think I'll leave, you know what, I'll, I'll move, uh, this one here, and maybe we'll get Zazu pretty soon, because I don't like that he increases others' strength. So we played our two cards, uh, so we will end the turn there. Let's, uh, so now we're going to fate every turn, because we have Mufasa in the succession pile. So, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Actually, Rafiki isn't that bad now, now that we have Mufasa in the succession pile. This can, uh, this is usually bad, uh, but only if, uh, someone other than Mufasa or Simba is in the succession pile, because everyone other than Mufasa and Simba has a strength of three or less. Uh, so they would be taken out of the succession pile. Uh... This one's bad also because it can move Zazu somewhere else, but I, I don't think that's as bad as putting Rafiki somewhere. So let's just play Rafiki, um, and we'll put him here because there's no allies there yet. So that's probably the worst place for me, for him to be. I'm going to move to round 12, draw back up to 4. Only two cards here, two cards. All right, back up to 4. I'll shuffle that at the end of this round. 
Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So, let's see. I will move here. Spend, uh... You know what? I don't really want to move there, actually. What I want to do... Actually, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to spend two to play this hyena here. Uh, we are going to now use this move action to move the stampede over. And the stampede's uh, uh, ability only activates when you play it, not when you move it. So the ability's not going to activate. So now we will use the vanquish action to use the stampede to kill Rafiki. He gets added to the succession pile. Now I have nine. And by the way, the way uh, to win with scars, have 15 strength or more in the succession pile. I have nine. Uh, six plus three, nine in the succession pile, which has to be started with Mufasa. So uh, let's see. So we played a card, we moved, we vanquished. Not gonna do the fate action. Uh, so uh, now we will uh, fate ourselves. Uh, let's see. What is worse? Probably adding Pumbaa is worse. So let's add Pumbaa. Uh, we'll put him there. And I'm putting them here because these two places are my favorite places to go to when I'm playing Scar, Pride Rock, and Elephant Graveyard. So I'm going to block that area there. Uh, let's uh, move down around 11. And uh, now we will draw back up to 4 after we uh, shuffle our discard pile and make it the uh, new deck to draw from. Probably good enough. Just need one card. Okay, what did we get? Ooh, that's that's the card I was looking for yesterday, by the way. Uh, I think that would have helped a lot if I drew that a little more often yesterday. Anyways, uh, so now let's move here. I think we need the power. So let's get three power. And we will uh, play, uh, we'll spend two power to put this hyena here. And uh, that's it. That's all we can do. We can only have one action this turn. So we will end the turn. Let's fate ourselves. Hmm, okay, this one is probably worse for me. I'll play her there, get rid of, uh, it's probably better to get rid of this one, actually, because this one's ability is already done and can't be used anymore. Uh, this one ability is ongoing, so it's probably better for, worse for me to get rid of that one. So now we are at round 10, halfway, at the halfway mark. Uh, we need one more card. Okay. Okay, not bad at all, not bad. So what we will do is, you know what, let's, I have a, hmm, actually I can't do what I was thinking, so why don't I do, uh, just thinking here for a second, hmm. Okay, you know what I'll do? I will uh, go here, get one power, and I will spend two power to play the Stampede here. So now, now, we, now the ability comes into play. So if Stampede is played to a location that has a hero, move one hero to at that location to an adjacent location, then you may perform a Vanquish action at the hero's new location. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Sarabi here. Uh, while Sarabi is here, she has minus one strength because of Zazu. All heroes at Zazu's location get minus two strength. Oh, so she, uh, she only has one strength, not minus one. She only has one. Um, and now I get to perform a Vanquish action there. Uh, so I will just get rid of uh, one hyena to 
get uh, rid of Sarabi. Because that one hyena will have three, and she, because that zoo will only have one, she gets added to the succession pile. Now I have uh, 12, uh, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, strength in the succession pile. So we're moving closer to winning. I can uh, discard now if I want. Um, let's see, is Simba in here? If Simba's in here, I might keep this. Simba is not in there. I'll get rid of... Uh, I'll get rid of, um, you know, I'm going to keep all these. I'm going to keep all these. All right, let's fate ourselves again. Ooh, the dreaded Akuna Matata on uh, Simba. So you see, because I, I want Simba out there, and because I want him out there, I'm going to discard him, make it more difficult for Scar to win, because if I get Simba, this can't bring him back out, so he has a strength of five. So we're going to use Akuna Matata because I think that is more detrimental to us. So uh, the ability, choose a hero uh, with a strength of three or less from the succession pile and play that hero or move a hero to any location. So we will use this to play. Uh, probably Rafiki is the worst one for us because we we can get like stuck in a loop always having to kill him and then get get Akuna matata again to kill him again and just get stuck in that loop. Um, so we will play Rafiki here. I think that's worse for... Oh, actually, no. Uh, the worst place for us is here. That would be the worst place for us. Okay. Okay, so we are going to move down to round number uh, nine. Draw back up to four, but just drawing one card. Okay, alrighty, so uh, what we will do is, um, oh, we're running low on power. I think I'll go here, get three power, uh, and then I'm going to spend uh, two power to, um, so this, choose a location and move any number of hyenas in your realm, in your realm to that location. So I will move, uh, let's see, who do I want to move? I'll move, uh, this one and this one there. Because they don't need to be from the same location, it just says move any number of hyenas, uh, in your realm to that location. So that's what we're going to do, uh, because we got to kill Rafiki next. And, uh, well, that's all we can do. We can only do one action. So we'll end the turn there. Uh, fade ourselves again. Timon. And Nala. Um, I think Timon will be worse for us. Put him there, because now we have Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, they are going to be, um, uh, buffing each other. Um... And now we will move down to round eight. Again, pretty close to uh, the end of the game. Not sure if we'll win. Uh, we might, though. I think we're close. Uh, so let's see what we have. So definitely not the hand I want at the moment. Uh, let's see. Well, let's move here to at least get rid of Rafiki who has, uh, because of that zoo, he's a four now. So this is one, two, three, four. So that will kill Rafiki, putting him back in the succession pile. Uh, and uh, that's all we can do at that location, unfortunately. Uh, so let's uh, fate ourselves again. And you know what, I am thinking this fading every turn, even after Scar's in the, or even after Mufasa's in the succession pile may be too uh, difficult. Um, we might just have to do the dice roll thing uh, next time. We'll, we'll keep doing it this way this time, but next time I think uh, we'll do it so that uh, maybe we'll make it just over 50-50, uh, so uh, one to four on the six-sided dice will be a fate action against us. 
Oh no, I'll think about it. Let's see how this game goes. Okay, so got our crappy hand here. Uh, so let's go. Uh, man. Let's see, what do we. So we have 12 in the succession pile. If we can kill Pumbaa, that will give us 15. Uh, but right now, I can't really do that. Um, so why don't I move here, get three power, and I will spend uh, one power to use Be Prepared. So spend one power. I discard the uh, top three. One, two, three. And I can get either one effect or two allies from the discard pile. I'm going to go for the allies. Let's see. I think I might want a stampede. Do I have one in here? No. Okay, it went back in the... Uh... Okay, so let's see. Two, two hungry hyenas. Do I want Shenzi? You know what? I'll get Shenzi back with a, a, another hyena because I can get two allies with Be Prepared. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to end my turn there. I have five cards now. And, good, and the thing in this game is there's no hand limit. Uh, so you can have as many cards as you uh, can possibly have going down to round seven. Before I forget though, let's bait ourselves. Uh, I'm thinking, thinking this is probably worse for us just to block up all the actions. So let's, uh, see what we have here. Right. So, uh, what we want to do is, um, uh, Hmm. Let's see. Oh man, we don't even have enough to kill Timon here because of Pumbaa being out. So uh, let's see. What we'll do is we'll move here. Uh, we'll spend um, two power to put Shenzi out and get to play this one for free. So that's going to be two, three, four against three, but uh, he gets plus two. So he's really a five while Timon is out. Hmm. And uh, why don't we, why don't we move uh, this here? So we can at least get rid of Zazu, because he's just being a pain in the butt, strengthening everyone else. Because really, T Pumbaa has six. He has three, plus two from Timon is five, plus one from Zazu is six. So I need to get rid of Zazu. Uh, okay, so that's it for that turn. Uh, let's uh, fade ourselves. Uh-oh. Well, I think this is definitely worse, because it's going to do that thing I said where he just keeps... This guy just keeps coming out. Uh, and now I have to kill him before I kill Zazu. Oh, God. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So let's move down to round six. Uh, get one card to get back up to four. Uh, I might keep this one because... Uh, I can at least use it because I know I'm fading myself every turn, so maybe this will keep some of those Akuna Matatas out. Um, so let's see. Uh, we need to get rid of R Rafiki now. Hmm. Well, why don't we use uh, Be Prepared to... Uh... So let's... we got to move first. So let's get three power. We'll spend one power to play P be repaired, be, <laughs> be prepared uh, to discard the top three and then get two uh, allies. So let's see. I'm 
we'll get these two. Just the only ones in there, I think. Okay. Uh, so we played the one card that we could. Um, so now in that turn, get faded again. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I think we have to do this to do get her out. Play to place with a uh, hyena. Man. Okay, let's play. If we play her there, she'll get negative one from Zazu. So we'll play her here. Get rid of a hyena. Let's get rid of this one because her ability is uh, no longer useful. Okay. Um, so now I can. We're down to round five. Because of that, because of what just happened with those two Akuna Matatas bringing these two out, I am now pretty sure that uh, I have more than four cards. I'm pretty sure we're not going to win this one. But let's see, we might get extremely lucky. So, uh, what I will do is go here, uh, spend two power to play a hyena here, because we got to kill uh, Rafiki. Oh, that's right, I had this card. If another player tells you the fate action may play injustice before they reveal cards, look at the top two cards of your fate deck, either discard or return each to the top of the fate deck. We're going to say we use that. And we'll have discarded both of those. Oh, wait. Not that. Uh, we would have discarded Akuna Matata instead of letting them play it. There. So we have we have a fighting chance. I still think we're going to lose, but at least we have a fighting chance. So, uh, so we play the Hyena. We're going to move the uh, Stampede over, I think. And that should be enough to get Rafiki taken care of. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this turn. Let's see. No more Kuna Matatas. Uh, didn't matter. There was another one in there anyways. So, oh well. Down to round four. Get a card. So much fun losing twice on camera. Okay, so let's, uh, so we're going to move here, because we at least have enough to uh, fate, or, or vanquish uh, Rafiki. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to fate Rafiki. Uh, he has four strength because of Zazu, so, whoops. So it's going to take both of these cards, uh, which add up to four. Uh, to put Rafiki back in the succession pile. Oh, he is definitely the most annoying hero. Um, that's all I can do there. So we will move down around. Oh, we gotta fade ourselves because that's what we're doing. Simba or Akuna Matata. How much you wanna bet? I think there should have been at least one less Akuna Matata. This is ridiculous. Let's see. <laughs> oh boy, we'll definitely playing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will be worse for me. Let's put it on Zazu, the most annoying one out there right now. Okay. So. Let's move here, get a uh, three power. Uh, we will play, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're pretty much gonna lose. Hungry Hyena. Did I move that down? I don't think I moved it down because I didn't need to draw cards this turn. I'll move it down because I don't think I moved it. Uh, so we played a card, we got our three power, uh, now, uh, let's fade ourselves again. 
Hoo-hoo. Well, we all know what's worse. Bring back Rafiki. Put him in a place with no hyenas. Uh, we gotta draw a card. We're down to the second to last round. There's no way we are winning. Uh, what did we get? <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Okay. So, uh, let's just, uh, move here to move this here. I don't think I have any. Nope. I can play something. Uh, let's play Be Prepared. Get, uh, two allies. One. Two, three. I'm going to go for the uh, stampedes. So I got one. Do I have two in here? Or is the other one in the deck still? Yeah. Okay, so I will get uh, just a hyena. Get those two. And uh, let's, uh, before we move on to the last round, let's just fade ourselves one last time. Whoops. Oh, well, Akuna Matata cannot be used now because uh, Mufasa is over six, so there's nothing in the succession pile at a three or less strength to move out of there. So, haha, uh -huh, Akuna Matata. Uh, but they can still move a hero to any location, or we can do that to increase a hero's strength by three. I think uh, this will be better if we put that on Rafiki. Um... Okay, so uh, at round the last round, can't draw because we have more than four cards in hand, uh, but we will uh, move this here, doesn't really matter, get three power, uh, we will spend uh, two power, it doesn't really matter, can't really do anything anyways, but Spend two power. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I was gonna just move Timon here. That way, uh, Rafiki is in a place with at least five strength. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter. I mean, I could do a, a vanquish action here, but I can't kill anyone. Can't I can't kill them because I have to defeat Rafiki before I defeat anyone else. So, that was it. That's the last round. Uh, I guess I was wrong yesterday when I said it couldn't get any worse. But anyways, that's where I'm going to end today's show. Uh, yeah, that's it. You've just been filled in.